Should you update your will when you move to the desert? Well, I can answer that. Hi, folks. I'm attorney Ron Sice. I'm on law firm, and all I do is help families with probate right here in New Mexico. So let's jump in. All right. Got a call from a potential client. They're moving from the East Coast to the desert. Welcome to the desert. It's time to update your will. And they're like, well, why? It seems like everything's in place. They already named who's going to take care of this, who's going to take care of the house, who's going to take care of the uh, hospital wishes. All that was in place, but under Ohio law, you got to update. If you move to a different state, thing is, I know we can freely move to, we can drive to any state. So we just think that uh, our will should be good anywhere because I can drive anywhere. But no, each state is their own like mini country and they have their own mini leader, the governor, and they have their own government. They have their own house, state house of representatives. They have their state senators, everything. They have their own laws and you have to update. And the main reason why is if this caller's from Ohio in their will, it only mentions and refers to the Ohio home. Doesn't say anything about their new home in Santa Fe. They sold the Ohio home, they moved to Santa Fe. But their will, which is out of date because it only referenced Ohio, it's non-existent because when you die and you have Santa Fe, uh, New Mexican property, but your will only says Ohio, ugh, you got to clean that up, update it, make sure it's going to be up to date to the New Mexican law. And that's what we want, our state law, not Ohio law, uh, New Mexico law is what we you need so that way your will is valid and everyone and all your wishes will be carried out okay if you like this video leave a thumbs up if you want to hear more go ahead and leave a question and i can answer that and possibly make a video about that all right have a good one take care